So hello everyone, today I will show you how you can fix your blurry texture after baking. You will notice one thing that um, when you bake your textures in Blender, you will get blurry texture after baking, okay? So if I show you, if I go to my UV, not UV editing, shading tab, so you can see there i have a simple texture and if i try to bake this texture so after baking the texture it is pixelated and it looks blurry so if i demonstrate you so if i just press shift a and if i add an image texture okay and then suppose if i want to make this thing 1k resolution okay so you can see i use 1k and what you have to do you have to select your hoodie and then you have to go to the bake option and there we have you have to just copy this setting i'm not going to show the step how to bake the textures you can watch you can watch other tutorials there are so many tutorials on youtube you can watch that things i will just show you the reason why that blurriness happens i will just bake a diffuse material and like this and then i will bake it okay so now you can see the texture is properly baked in the this one so if i connect this one into my base color you see it just become pixelated so when you render all your maps like normal roughness base color everything it it will look like this so the main reason this this thing will happen maybe your uv unwrapping is not proper you have to make sure that your uv unwrapping is proper so in my case it is properly baked not baked like properly uv unwrapped and you have to make sure that nothing is overlapping your texture you have to make sure that everything is clean and that's the most important thing if you if you don't want any kind of this type of pixelation issue okay but in my case i am having a proper uvs but still it is creating that type of pixelation you can see so how to fix this so the main reason of that pixelation is the mapping node so in the mapping node you can see i'm having a scale of 10 and 10 in x and y so this is the main reason why your your are getting that type of pixelation issue okay so if you want to get the same kind of texture after baking so what you have to do when you create new you have to make sure that you have to just multiply so right now you, you can see i'm having x and y 10 so it may be different in your situ situation it may be like 2 or something else okay so in my case it is 10 what you have to do you have to just create a new and you have to just put the value so what you have to do you have to just press 1024 multiply so in my case i am having 10 so i will just press 10 and then you have to press ok so you have to make sure that you put uh, same values up and down with and height so i will just control c and control paste okay so now you can see this is 10k resolution and then you have to create that texture okay so now what will happen you have enough texture resolution to bake the same kind of resolution like this okay so i'm not gonna bake this texture because this is 10k texture and if i use normal baking method to bake this texture it's gonna take so long to bake so what i will do i will remove this thing i will use the simple bake add-on you can download this add-on from blender market it is not a free add-on so you can buy that thing from blender market so the same thing applies to this one what i will do i will bake the width 10k resolution 10k resolution and i will output it to 10k resolution okay but in your case you have the single node you have to just make sure that you multiply with 1024 with your x value and it is good to go okay so in my case it is 10k and then what i will do i will bake it okay so there is a bake option you have to just click on that if you are using this add-on uh, so after bake what will happen you will get this type of uh, folder and now if i turn this thing off okay you can see there is no difference okay so this one is the bake 10k resolution and the upper one is the main like this one okay so if i show you the material also so this is my bake texture simple bake and if i go to the material tab you can see there we have the diffuse map and it is baked properly okay you can see and for the confirmation what i can do i can just control c this thing and then what i can do i will just hide this thing i will go to my older hoodie and i will paste this thing there okay so it, it's just like the same way when you bake your texture in this one you will get something like this with the traditional method that you use for baking in blender so if i connect this one just look at my texture okay if i if i zoom in see there is no difference okay you will get the difference because uh the roughness difference because i didn't bake the roughness map i just uh bake the diffuse but you can see there is no different if uh, if i connect the older map also you can see it is properly baked the texture with these things okay and now you will say like this is 10k resolution it will be so heavy for my pc uh, then what you can do you can export this uh, texture into png and then you can compress that texture into 2k or 1k whatever you want to do and then you can use it in your 
assets okay so that's the main reason why your textures become blurry and the same way you have to bake all your texture like the roughness the normals everything but it depends if you are using the same mapping node for every texture so in my case i'm using the same mapping node for all my normal map roughness metallic everything so that's why i can use the same values for all textures okay but in your case if you are having different type of mapping nodes for each textures then you have to uh, give that specific texture value okay so it's very simple you have to just multiply your value with 1024 with the value that is present in your x okay and make sure that your x and y are same and uh, make sure that it is not in point uh, try with uh, just go with 10 20 1 2 do not enter 2.8 3.2 something like that it will create problems i don't know i'm not sure but yeah you can use this value and yeah that's the thing that you can use to fix your blurriness in your texture i watch a lot of tutorials but no one tell this issue how to fix this thing so yeah that's the solution of this thing i think it will help you and if you want this free animation then you can go to my patreon and the link of the patreon is in my instagram bio you can get this free animation